Hey everyone, this is Samantha Gattuso with Show Your Beauty. I am back and I have this makeup look going for me. I used, oh where is it, oh goodness. I used my Anastasia Artist palette to create this eye look. I also used a ton of new stuff, so this will be like a first impressions kind of thing um, with a lot of new stuff that I got and I love already, even though like I only used them this one time. I still already love them. So if you want to get this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I started by taping my eyes to give a sharp edge to my makeup. I'm using my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC New. I just dropped my lid. And I'm using my Sonia Kashuk brush in number 110. And I'm just gonna pack that all on the lid. And up to the eyebrow. I'm using my Artist Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It comes with a little brush, but I'm not going to use that. You can, but I'm not. So now I'm going to use my Soft Focus Shader E52 and pack the shade Buttery all over my lid and up to my eyebrow. Now I'm going to take Dusty Rose on my Sonia Kashuk 109 brush and just going to buff that in the crease. Make sure it's all blended. You want to really blend the shade because this is our transition shade. I'm just going in with more of that to make it a little deeper. I'm blending that all the way up to a little bit before my eyebrow. Okay, now going in with Aubergine and my Morphe M433 brush, I'm going to pack this into the crease to make it deeper and really concentrating that with a smaller fluffy brush in there. It's really important to give it that layered, fanned out look to make sure everything's blended really nicely, seamless, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to run that back and forth, windshield wiper motions. Now I'm going back in with Dusty Rose and my Sonia Kashuk brush and going to make sure all the edges are blended out and to mix that aubergine and the Dusty Rose together. Now I'm gonna go in with Blue Velvet and this Dome Utility E34 brush and I'm gonna really pack that on the outer V this is going to give a little bit of depth. The blue doesn't show up a ton, but it does, as you can see, give more shading, darkness, and that's what we're really going for. You could have used coal like this, but I decided to use blue velvet. So now I'm going back in with the Morphe brush, and it has no product on there. And I'm just gonna blend that all out to make sure there's no harsh lines, make sure everything blends into each other. Now I'm going back in with the fluffy Sonia Kashuk brush and again making sure there's no lines. Going in with the orange you fancy shade. Uh, at first I applied this without the MAC Fix Plus and it was kind of dull so then I went in and I sprayed this Sigma Medium Sweeper E54 and just pack that on. It gives more vibrant color. Um, that always happens with Fix Plus. Now I'm going back into the Blue Velvet with that medium fluffy brush, Morphe brush, and just kind of blending the edges of that orange you fancy color. So now I'm taking off the tape. It kind of hurts. So be careful, be very gentle, these are your eyes. Minimize wrinkles, right? Now I'm gonna go with the Step 1 Makeup Forever base. This is the Redness Correcting Primer and I'm gonna rub that all over my face. I do have a lot of redness so this is why I'm using this primer. I'm also putting that um, kind of at the corner of my eye where no eyeshadow is because that's where I get a ton of redness. Now I'm going in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector uh, in Opal, or not Opal, Pearl. And I'm gonna rub that all over my face. 
Um, this is the liquid kind, not the pressed. So I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match in C2, which is natural ivory, and I'm going in with my Beauty Blender. Well, this is the knockoff brand. It's the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And as you can see, I'm just kind of bouncing it on my skin. Um, no circular motions, no rubbing really, um, to make sure that it's really even and nice. Um, the application should be done by bouncing motions and not rubbing motions. And this is damp beauty blender, not a dry beauty blender. You never want to use a dry beauty blender. And we're going in with the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is in light, oh, it's in fair neutral. This is the lightest color. And we're just gonna put that under the eye area in kind of like a triangle and then blend that out with the um, Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Now we're gonna use that uh, Naked Skin Concealer um, on my lip, my Cupid's bow area, um, my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And then we're gonna blend that out also with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm kind of like dabbing my finger on my eye to make sure there's no creases and then applying that. Now I'm using the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm going in, I'll leave the color down below, I'm not sure right now. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my face using my Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush in F15. And I'm gonna make sure that's all over my forehead and my jaw area, my cheekbones of course, my temples, all that good stuff. Under my chin, make sure you blend, blend, blend because you do not want any harsh lines. So make sure that you can't tell where the contour begins and where it ends. So make sure it all is kind of like a continuous blend or line, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going in with my Tarte blush in Tipsy with my Flawless Face Brush from Bare Minerals. And I'm just circling that around my cheek area and bringing it all the way back to my temple. Now I'm using this huge powder brush by Real Techniques and just blending out that contour and the blush to make it look seamless. Now I'm using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. This is pressed. It is amazing. And so I'm just swooping that on my cheekbones, highest points of my face, including my nose, my chin, and my forehead with the Tapered Highlighter F35 by Sigma. Also applying that to my nose. And now I'm going in with Dusty Rose and the Sonia Kashuk number 109 and dusting that on the lower lash line. Then going in with Aubergine and that flat shader brush by Sigma and just kind of really tightly running that across my lower lash line and then blending that out with the Morphe brush. Now I'm going in with this flat definer E15 by Sigma and I'm gonna really pack that unicorn color really close to my lash line to give a kind of a pop of color. And then I'm going in with the domed brush by Sigma and I'm gonna run that unicorn color in to kind of brighten and blend. 
now I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color dark brown and I'm going to draw in those eyebrows baby look at the difference yep and I'm going in with buttery and the Sigma soft focus shader E52 and gonna put that right below my eyebrow to give us a little bit of highlight. I'm going in with this Punch Fuchsia color and the Dome Brush by Sigma. And I'm gonna pump that into my inner corner and blend that a little bit into my lower lash line. Now I'm taking my Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. This is a little sample size. And I'm gonna coat my lashes. I'm not gonna use false lashes, I never do, because I like my own. Coating the bottom lashes. And finally, we're going in with this Rebel MAC lipstick, and we're going to apply that because it's pretty much in the same Pantone as the Punch Fuchsia color. Sorry for the extreme close-up. And this is the finished look. Thank you guys for watching. I am so glad to be back on YouTube and I will really try to continue this. It's been super hard, as I said, to juggle life <laughs> just in general and then you know, YouTube on top of that is a little challenging, but I really, really miss you guys and uh, I really want to do more videos and I hope you guys liked this video, kind of first impressions, uh, I bought a lot of new stuff and really excited about it and really glad to use it. I hope you guys enjoyed, I love you guys and I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Bye! Then keep on watching. Then keep on watching. Ah! And you bargain for yes. Yeah. Uh